Thank you very much, Kelly. In this World Cup of giant killings, well, giants don't get any bigger than Brazil. And Mexico have come here inspired by what they've seen elsewhere. And in the knowledge that they've already claimed a huge scalp of their own at this World Cup, Mexico, who beat Germany 1-0 in their opening game of their group. Brazil, though, we get to see the faces of the players in the tunnel. And they look very determined. It's been a World Cup so far where players of Paris Saint-Germain have, so have shined. Mbappe has done it for France. Cavani has done it for Uruguay. Is this to be the moment that Neymar comes and really takes centre stage at this World Cup? Messi's gone home. Ronaldo's gone home. Is this about to become the Neymar show? You know what? This is about Brazil performing on this stage they need to get past this huge hurdle of Mexico but they're not here they're not here just to take part Mexico they won that fifth game Connor they want the win wow what a game what a game this day eight years ago Brazil were knocked out of the World Cup by Holland in South Africa we all know what happened four years ago against Germany and the Brazilians who have come here in large numbers to this remote place in Russia we are a thousand kilometers away from Moscow. It's been quite a trip for everyone, but they have taken up every seat in this stadium. This is the town Samara where they build space rockets. It is a space age stadium that is for certain here. The most modern looking design, and that's saying something here in Russia 2018. But now, time for an old fashioned tune. It's the national anthems, and first, Brazil. Wow, what an atmosphere. The Mexicans have showed up in enormous numbers here in Samara. And there was real emotion around those national anthems. Brazil, who were without Real Madrid's Marcelo. Mexico, without their key central defender, Hector Moreno. He's suspended after picking up two yellow cards. In the defeat to Sweden last time out, the Mexico coach Juan Carlos Osorio named an unchanged lineup. First time he had done that in 50 matches. He refers to type for this one. Two changes. Ayala comes in for Moreno as the central defender. They leave out Leun, who's an attacking midfielder on the right-hand side. And boy, do they go for experience. Rafael Marquez. Long, 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 long time ago, he used to play with Barcelona. This is his fifth World Cup. 39 years of age the third oldest outfielder to start a World Cup game and the oldest since the 1950s I mean 39 is old for a goalkeeper at the World Cup <laughs> he's playing middle of the midfield against Brazil wow now I know why you stayed in last night to get all these stats very good sir good work listen he's going to have his workers out today he will have to preserve some of that energy because he'll have a lot of running to do there'll be a lot of um a lot of intricate play by Brazil in that centre of the pitch. He can't go running around. He's going to have to stay in front of his back two centre-halves. Protect them, because they'll need protection today. And in this world we live in, the modern world, where teams use their second and choi third choice colours for no reason at all. How refreshing and reassuring to see Brazil in yellow and Mexico in green. The first choice colours for these old, old rivals. Often the World Cup games can throw up pairings of nations who've never played before or maybe once a blue moon ago. These two see each other all the time and they are very much rivals. Central against South America, both teams have gone into a huddle either side of the halfway line and the scene is set in this gladiatorial arena with the very steep sides. Myself and Dio Dullin, we're on the halfway line. We are high up, but we are not far back. We've got a wonderful view of the pitch here in Samara. You know, these teams, they know each other so well. That's why it's intriguing, Connor. You know, they would have done research years and years and years ago. Not a lot has changed. Personnel, yes, but they both have quality. Like I've said from the very, very start, it's going to be ill-disciplined that wins this game or loses this game should I say Javier Hernandez as he always does goes down onto his knees arms outstretched eyes up to the heavens and his pre-match prayer Brazil who finished on top of Group E after a slow start Mexico runners up in Group F as they would have expected to be they probably thought they'd be runners up to Germany as it is they were runners up to Sweden 
But they've known for quite some time that this date was in the diary. They always knew Brazil would win their group. They thought if we can be second, we'll get Brazil in Samara in the second round. And that is how it has transpired. We are underway here. Mexico playing from right to left as we look down. And a chase for Guardado down the left-hand side. And he puts it out off the corner flag for a goal kick to Brazil. He, he had about three tricks in his mind there. He wasn't able to pick up <laughs> which one he was going to pull off, and he put it off the, the corner flag for a goal kick. I think he tricked himself. Yeah. Look at this. He's all playing out from the back, but it's a high press from Mexico. High press from Mexico, who know they've got to get in the faces of Brazil here, but Brazil won't change their tempo, and the goalkeeper, Anderson just rolled it out to the centre-half, Miranda. Miranda and Thiago Silva, the two central defenders, just popped either side of the penalty area there just like Spain did the other day against Russia you know play it out from very very deep as Brazil nearly give it away in the midfield Neymar's ball was intercepted briefly by Javier Hernandez but it went up into the air Neymar was able to gain control of it once again and he spins it out here to the near touchline and Willian of Chelsea who's playing on the right wing of a front three with Gabriel Jesus in the middle Neymar on the left and then Coutinho will sit in the hole in behind them Brazil in possession with Thiago Silva the Paris Saint-Germain defender he's the Brazil captain for this one their third captain of this World Cup already they like to move it around Hector Herrera plays it forward Javier Hernandez gets it for Mexico flashes across the edge of the penalty area Thiago Silva is there with the header and he's given it away to Mexico once again good break here by Guardado and he's crossed it in Alisson is stretching he's only been able to punch it out towards the edge of the penalty area Alvarez was following up and his shot to flex out for a corner Mexico have begun this last 16 game at a gallop. And you know what, the first two minutes Brazil have been so sloppy, just playing at a pace that they think is going to work today. If you start giving the ball away in your final third, in that middle third, as hard as Mexico are working, you are going to come a cropper. And they deserve to be here. Uh, there's a corner here right now, they've got to switch on Brazil. They really have, because they've started terribly. Corner to be taken by the very experienced Andres Guardado. Cap number 151 for him, spins it in but headed away by Gabriel Jesus at the front post and a chance of a counter-attack for Brazil as it'll be held up briefly in the midfield. Coutinho looking to release Gabriel Jesus. In the end, possession was picked up in a busy midfield by Willian and played out towards the near side. Fagner, the Cruzeiro fullback is fouled. Free kick to Brazil inside the Mexico half. It is hot here, it is sticky, and boy is it loud inside the stadium in Samara. You know what, just giving the ball away, Casemiro, Paulinho, Coutinho, even Coutinho, which surprises me, just giving the ball away and just been a little bit sloppy in that middle third. If they can concentrate a bit more, keep, keep the ball, make sure the ball reaches its intended target, they'll have a much better chance. Paulinho, down the right-hand side, gets into a crossing position. Salcido, Carlos Salcido, one of those who's bleached, blonde, and dyed his hair. Clears it away, that's just returning the ball to Brazil on the halfway line. Casemiro of Real Madrid, back to Miranda of Inter Milan. Here is Barcelona's Coutinho, boos from the Mexicans in the crowd as Brazil holds possession on the halfway line. Late challenge, comes crunching in on the far side on Neymar. Free kick to Brazil. I wonder, is it going to be one of these days? What are we going to see from Neymar? Are we going to see the smiles, the goals, the tricks? Are we going to see the tears? You know, I'm not sure. Neymar just Neymar just sucks players in. He just waits, he waits. He's got the ball on his right foot, the defender's on his left shoulder. And he waits for the defender to have a little bit of a nibble, as if to say, I can get this. He passes it, and then he goes down. Just with a little bit of contact. But you've got to know that Neymar does that. Let him have it in those undangerous areas. Brazil nil, Mexico nil. This is five live for the BBC. 6 p.m. local kickoff time here. 3 p.m. in the UK. And Coutinho set off in a run down the left hand side. He's being tracked by Hugo Ayala. Ayala using his body well to hold up Coutinho and runs it out. Runs it out for a goal kick. Just taking the pressure off his team then. Ayala. He had Coutinho, and glad it wasn't anybody stronger than Coutinho because he might have lost out there. Did lose his foot in slightly as the ball was rolling out. But because it's Coutinho, had the strength to hold him off. Dangerous game that sometimes, Connor. If you let the ball run out and you get it nicked off you, they're in a really dangerous area. It's a very experienced Mexico team, this. Marquez, 148th cap. Guardado, 151. As a shot is drilled in by Neymar. And Ochoa saves it. He was way outside the penalty area there, Neymar. Central location. Willian has it on the right-hand side. Paulinho just beside him. Willian skips away from the nearest defender to him, Gallardo. Then it's played in towards the edge of the D. 
Two defenders are getting away. Ayala failed first time. Salcedo delivered with the second. And he's cleared it long into the Brazil half. And all the way back to Alisson. Hector Herrera is making his 70th cap. For Colos Vela, it's his 72nd. Javier Hernandez, 106. They have been around the block. They are streetwise, these Mexicans. And they'll think if there's ever a time to go at Brazil, this is it. But they were streetwise then. Connor tried to play out from the back. Brazil did the cat and mouse thing. They turned their back on a short passing situation there for Mexico. Mexico got sucked in. Tried to play around Brazil. They nicked it back. Now a press on Casemiro who forces it back to the goalkeeper. But Herrera was nibbling away at his ankles. Nil-nil. In this last 16 game, Belgium play Japan in Rostov later on today. We'll have commentary on Five Live. The winner of that game will play the winner of this one in the quarterfinals. Here is Andres Guardado. Good control in the middle of the midfield. Herrera available to his right-hand side. Rafael Marquez, the 39-year-old, is just sitting in front of the two central defenders. He's using up no energy down there, but he's like the quarterback of the team. He's pointing to everyone. <laughs> now, you, you pass it to him. No, <laughs> now, you give it to him. He's issuing the instructions. It's like having the coach on the field down there. As Mexico played around in the back four, Salcido, Antoya, Ala, Neymar tries the press, and the press works because Ayala's rushed clearance goes out for a Brazil throw. Yeah, they've got to be careful. They've got to do that in the right areas. It was all triggered by Jesus. When one goes, they all go, Brazil. Don't go in ones and twos, you'll get picked off. Ayala clears it away. Header won by Casemiro in the midfield for Brazil. And then again Neymar appeals, he's been fouled and again the referee agrees with it. Free kick to Brazil, left hand side of the midfield. Yeah, I agree with the referee there. Neymar had three players round him, one had his shirt, one had his arm, one, one was pulling his hair, one was pulling his short. <laughs> there was no way around the Mexicans this time, but you know what? It's about 20 yards away from the 18 yard line, wide left, and Neymar's going to whip this one in, in swinger. Yeah, this is closer to the halfway line than it is the penalty area. It's out by the touchline on the left as Brazil come forward. And here comes Neymar with the yellow boots, whips it into the penalty area, header by Hugo Ayala, gets it out of the penalty area. Coutinho unable to get a touch on it. Javier Hernandez blasts it out to the left wing, where Carlos Villa is going to tangle here with Fagner, and he's done really well, the former Arsenal man. Here comes Carlos Villa down the left wing. Fagner tries to get back into position. Flicked infield by Villa and eventually support comes up from left back from Galado. Mexico will hold on to possession but the surprise element of a counter-attack has dissipated. Marquez to his right hand side to Hugo Ayala. Mexico in the dark green shirts, the white shorts, the maroon coloured socks playing from right to left as we look down. Hot and sticky in Samara. No goals. Carlos Vela, left wing, fancies a run on Fagner again, he's around him, he's into the penalty area, Fagner recovers, puts it out for the corner, Mexico really taking the game to Brazil when they've got the ball. You know what, I think Vela's got the beat in there, the Vela three times now he's going to cross in positions, this is the time he, he opts to cross but he gets a corner a couple of times before that, just put it in the box, you had two players really Busted, I got to get in there. I was sitting beside two Brazilians on the plane from Moscow to Samara yesterday, and both of them said, Oh, Wagner, we're not sure about him. And that's Brazilian fans. Here comes the corner, swung into the middle. Javi Hernandez in front of the goalkeeper. Allison crumples him onto the ground. But if anything, it was the striker impeding the goalkeeper. The flag was raised on the far side. Javier Hernandez was offside. Well, that was not the most assertive defending you've ever seen in the world for Brazil. No, first ball was won by the Mexicans uh, right on the penalty, penalty spot. It was a, an outswinger, and the keeper didn't know that Chicharito was offside, and he sort of crumbled him. Chicharito got there first. Goalkeeper's very, very lucky there. Could have been a free kick, or even a pen. I can't believe how hot it is in here, Theo. Crazy. It's just, you know, your body's drenched in sweat, your mouth is dry. <laughs> it feels like you're in the desert as... Ayala clears the ball away, right footed up towards the halfway line, Casemiro slams into the back of Javier Hernandez, referee waves play on, Hector Herrera has it on the right hand side of the midfield, gives it out towards Lozano who's been one of the exciting players of this World Cup, and the last touch came off the Mexicans say the officials, a Brazilian throw, Mexico not happy with that. Lozano, who often plays on the left, but they've switched it around Mexico. They've got Vela on the left, Lozano on the right, certainly for now anyway. Yeah, when they've had the ball, they've used it well. They really have. They're making the pitch as big as possible, getting into crossing areas. Yes, it's been refused a couple of times by Vela, but they're getting there, making Brazil track back. They don't like defending Brazil. 
This is the stage Mexico have gone out at in each of the last six times they've been at a World Cup. Can they go one step further? Can they beat Brazil here? It's been a bright start from the Central Americans. Casemiro for Brazil spirals the ball out towards the near touchline. Comes down right on the instep of Willian and then accelerates away from Calado. Good from Willian. Excellent covering from Marquez, the veteran though. Good positioning from him. Willian effectively ran into him there. And Marquez is able to clear it away with the help of Salcedo. And they get it up to Hernandez on the halfway line. And Vela encourages Hernandez to continue that run. Great ball from Vela. One-on-one -on -one for Hernandez in terms of a defender to get into the penalty area. He's got a couple of tricks. Miranda stood up to him. And as it's cleared away, it falls for Guardado. And Mexico are still on the attack. Marquez out to Herrera on the right-hand side. Alvarez came up from right back. And that's a throw-in to Mexico once he's tackled. Nil-nil. Yeah, there was a chance there for Hernandez just to drop his shoulder come on his right foot and try and curl it in the top corner but he got crowded out by Miranda and Silva good defending in the end 11 minutes played throw into Mexico on the far side attacking position for them Herrera gives it back out to Alvarez who doesn't control it he was looking up seeing who was available <laughs> in the centre and he let the ball slide under his foot that was his brain thinking too quick for his, uh, for his body he just couldn't do what he was thinking of he was looking away when he was trying to stop the ball and he kicked it out of play Reminder, coverage of day one of Wimbledon on Sports Extra right now. Roger Federer and Martin Silic both through to the second round already. US Open champion Sloan Stevens knocked out as well. But Sports Extra is your venue if you want to listen to the tennis while we've got live World Cup football here in the heat of Samara. Almost 12 minutes on the clock. Brazil nil, Mexico nil. They've been going at it hammer and tongs, the two of them, for the opening stages. Can they keep this sort of tempo up? in this sort of heat Salcedo rolls it back to the goalkeeper Guillermo Ochoa one of the, the great sights of the World Cup four years ago was how well Ochoa played against Brazil in the host nation's opening game Mexico held Brazil nil-nil and a draw that day it can't be a draw today of course this is knockout football extra time and penalties if necessary ball played in by Vela who's had a bright start it's going to be kept in play by Lozano on the far side Lozano drills it in off the back of Felipe Luis and Mexico get another corner I'm pretty sure Herrera was in there it was a ball it was a, a, a cross it was a halfway inside Brazil's half what a great little ball that is I think it's Herrera that's in there I thought he was offside but he obviously wasn't but it bounced in front of him couldn't get control of it it was Vela who played that great ball great Carlos ball. Vela who you know we seemed like such a famous character at Arsenal he only ever started three Premier League games for Arsene Wenger he's had a bright start to this game the corner swept in from the far side Marquez beaten to it at the front post by Gabriel Jesus Brazil have been outplayed at the moment Mexico whip it back into the penalty area again Hernandez with the header across the face of goal Thiago Silva gets up and wins a header on the edge of the six yard box Brazil still can't get it away Alvarez the right back is up like a centre forward at the moment Brazil now trying to break out Gabriel Jesus very strong in the tackle and then Casemiro with the calming ball backwards to Thiago Silva and Brazil say OK you want to play it like that let's do this and they roll up their sleeves yes. nil nil yeah that's what Brazil have got to do when they lose the ball they've got to get it back quicker don't allow Mexico to play a bit of football in their own final third because if they do they're putting the ball in the box they are creating chances Brazil are going to have to do it the ugly way today because they're not going to get their own way the press from Mexico is so impressive Lozano the latest to win the ball off a Brazilian defender Brazil have not been allowed to play out at their own tempo Mexico if you like they're taking a gamble here because they're committing players forward if Brazil do get through then there could be an, an outnumbering further out, down the pitch but Mexico playing with a vibrancy and a confidence as now Paulinho breaks away from a challenge down the right hand side and in comes a crunching tackle again and this time Herrera had a throw into Brazil inside the Mexico half they are working so hard Mexico they really are Brazil are trying the high press off the keeper off the Mexican keeper but it's just not working because one or two players aren't going with the squeeze look at that just throwing the ball away there terrible throw from Fagner he looks wobbly in these opening stages he's only got six caps before today here is Lozano oh he's got around Felipe Luis into the penalty area crosses it looking for Javier Hernandez and it flashes in front of the West Ham man what a chance for Mexico it goes all the way out for a throw in right full back position for Brazil what a great ball it's a great ball it was left back to right wing what a touch from Lozano he takes Felipe Luiz on and leaves him for dead but he just didn't have a shot on his left foot put it across the box Hernandez just couldn't get there too easy far too easy this could be 
the big game for Hervin Lozano on the world stage with the entire globe watching. The man who joined PSV Eindhoven at the start of last season. He got 17 goals, 8 assists for them. He helped them to the Dutch title. He's the one who could prize open the door of the back. I mean, we know Hernandez, he's a finisher. But Lozano's the man who can pick the lock, who can get in behind the fullbacks as Felipe Luiz tries to come out of defence. Brazil having to exert a lot of effort here just to get up to the halfway line. Thiago Silva using his experience, slowing the game down. A little calming pass to Willian. Terrible touch by Willian. Vela lunges in and makes the tackle. Bet you Arsenal players never saw him play like this. Look at him go. Willian nibbles back. Good tackle by Willian to win the ball from Vela. And Brazil clear it long now. Into the Mexican half. Alvarez being challenged by Neymar. Not sure if it touched either of them. It's going to go out of play on the far side. And it's a throw into Mexico. What a start. You know, I think, I think the Brazilians are surprised. I think they're surprised, by the way, that uh, Mexico have come out and, and, and really tried the high press and they've then they've not tried the high press and they've sucked Brazil into playing in the middle of the park then they've gone for a press Brazil are having to think they're having to think hard on how to get past this Mexican defence remember outside the stadium on the way in Dio, we were chatting with a, a group of Mexican lads who've come over and we said to them are you afraid of Brazil and do you remember what he said? He said, they should be afraid of us. Yes, and <laughs> on, this, on this first performance, they should be. Here's Willian, down the right-hand side, clips it across Casino, heads it out for a quarter. Quarter to Brazil on the right-hand side, nil-nil here, and it is bubbling away nicely in the last 16 of Samara. You know what, they're, they're, just, they're defending in numbers, twos and threes, Mexico, not leaving a single player on their own. Good to see. Willian stands over the corner kick, the iconic Brazilian kit, the blue shorts, the sparkling white socks, matched by sparkling white boots, and he awaits the instructions from the referee who's just in there trying to make sure that nobody's holding on to shirts, no one's committing fouls, wants there to be a little gap between every player before he'll allow the corner to come in. He, it's almost like Mexico are trying to... Uh, pressurised the, the corner kick here. They've got two players up as close as they can. Here comes Willian Silvery. Good header away by Marquez. Good distance on it as well from the 39-year-old. Vela onto Javier Hernandez. Hooks it over his shoulder. What a ball that is. And then it's played through by Guadado to Vela once again. And he hangs it into the penalty area. Lozano's arriving it. Controls it in the box. He's got one defender in front of him. Turns. Felipe Luis stretches out a leg. Makes a very good block. The Atletico Madrid defender. And Mexico see it out of play again for a Brazil throw on the far side <laughs> wow just two, just two long balls two long passes have really surprised uh, Brazil there Chicharito there one over his head Vela into Lozano chance so sloppy at the moment from Brazil they're not going to have it their own way today they know that they're going to have to find another way of getting out their final third at the moment they lose look at this it's a full full on press by Mexico and they've got the ball back making the defenders strike the ball long they don't want to go long Brazil it's incredible you know look, we see teams do the high press right it happens all the time but not on every attack I mean every single time Brazil have the ball Mexico are challenged them Felipe Luis plays it out of defence Casemiro with a touch controlling it is Coutinho he's fouled but play on says the referee Sound. Salcido makes the interception as Dion intimated probably offside had it gone through anyway this is Vela down on the touchline just below us he's had a great start to the game 18 minutes played fouled by Fagner free kick to Mexico inside the Brazil half Brazil finding it very difficult to break out of their own territory here yeah I don't know how Mexico are doing this by the way because it's 33 34 degrees and they are working their socks off and they are on top in this game creating a lot more knowing that Brazil want to play the short short game they're going short, short, long long, long, short they've got it on they've got it spot on at the moment but can they get the goal? Brazil have kept clean sheets in seven of their last eight games ball is played by Jesus Galano the left back into the middle once again Rafael Marquez who you can see is expending as little energy as he can the <laughs> third oldest outfield player ever in a World Cup game and the other two by the way Angel Lebruna Argentina player in 1958 and the only other player older than Rafael Marquez, outfield player, was Stanley Matthews when he played for England in wow. 1954. And all three have been 39 years of age. Just those other two that were a few weeks older than Rafael Marquez, who we're watching here. But that was a different era back in the 50s. Oh, nutmeg. Gallardo nutmegs Willian. No, it doesn't count. It doesn't count. Because he didn't run around the other side. Didn't go and collect. It doesn't count. <laughs> Here's Coutinho. Midway inside the 
Brazil have boos from the Mexican fans whenever Brazil have the ball. Casemiro's floated a lovely little cushion pass onto Felipe Luis, who comes over the halfway line on the left hand side. Alvarez up to press him. Brazil forced back to the halfway line. Casemiro to Coutinho. Gabriel Jesus makes a darting run. Coutinho didn't see it. Easy pass to Felipe Luis on his left hand side. Now up to Neymar. Back to Felipe Luis. This is more like it from Brazil. Gabriel Jesus into the penalty area. Ayala's the defender. Little drag back from Gabriel Jesus. Now he picks out Neymar. Mexico have got to be careful here. Four defenders around him and they win it off him. And Neymar is easily dispossessed. Like taking candy from a baby. And now it's a counter attack. Guardado over the halfway line for Mexico. He's got Vela available on the left hand side. He turns and gives it back to the experienced Rafael Marquez now look at the space for Alvarez on the right Brazil are not working as hard as Mexico in this opening 20 minutes no they're not as soon as Neymar got the ball they had three Mexican players around him didn't foul him I could consciously see them not diving in let him have it let him have it don't allow him to go beyond they waited they were patient they got the ball back and they broke again Possession with Mexico in the centre circle. This is five line for the BBC. No goals in Samara. Vela controls it on his chest on the left wing. Goes in field to Fagner. It's on his right boot. What a pass. What an opportunity. Herrera took one touch too many. He got away from Miranda. But by taking that touch around the defender, then he invited other challengers. And in the end, he couldn't get the shot away. But another great build-up from Mexico. Didn't need the touch. Don't take the touch. Just go first time. It was great skill by Vela and I can't believe Herrera took a touch he was about a yard inside the 18 yard line just go first time with a side foot you've got a chance on goal took it inside chopped inside on his left five Brazilians to block him out that was a great chance what about Carlos Vela by the way I mean he's a, he's a name we all know in English football he was one of those bright sparks that Arsene Wenger was saying this kid's going to come good and he was only a teenager and he'd play in the League mm. Cup for Arsenal and then you thought oh whatever happened to him and you know it just <laughs> never happened look at him here against Brazil at the World Cup he's running the show he is at the moment and they are Mexico are running the show at the moment they're not getting their own way Brazil they're going to have to think about this one now because there doesn't seem to be a lot of movement I know it's hot but it's hot for Mexico too and they don't seem to be uh, having any problems with it right we are bang on 22 and a half minutes we are midway through the first half Brazil have not had a shot yet and Mexico brimming with confidence but can they make it count can they get a goal during this purple patch here is Lozano on the far side into Marquez in the midfield still got the swivel of the hips just to remind us this guy's retired from club football he's given up <laughs> football he's done he's just played in the World Cup you know, he's come on tour and look at him he's, he's, he's just he's just walk, he looks like uh, Jan Mulby if you can remember Jan Mulby he did this for years just dictated how the game should be played at what pace very very good very clever Brazil with it back in the midfield Coutinho to Casemiro but he won't pick out Paulinho Brazil's passing hasn't been great you know no, this hasn't. is Carlos Vela on the left hand side infield to Andres Guardado and then he turns and gives it back to Ayala and out to Alvarez on the right hand side here come Mexico again they're finding all their passes Herrera flicks it on just too far in front of Lozano but there is a danger every time Mexico have the ball yeah they haven't you know when Mexico are passing it, it's like um, this, is, this is a technical um, phrase here but they're, they're following through with their pass they're making sure that the ball gets to the in intended target whereas Brazil because they are so good and so talented naturally they're just flicking at it and it's not really getting to the intended target on too many occasions. Concentration, come on, basics. Nil-nil, it remains. Thiago Silva, who, by the way, didn't play in that infamous 7-1 defeat to Germany four years ago. Everyone talks about the fact that Neymar didn't play. Thiago, Sal Thiago Silva didn't play either. He was suspended. And... Uh, in many ways though rather than feeling well okay that's nothing to do with me he, he took it extra hard because he said if I wasn't suspended maybe that defeat wouldn't have been as bad now Neymar's got a bit of room on the left hand side Neymar has not contributed much to this game so far let's see what he does here running at the penalty area Alvarez backs away from Neymar around him brilliant towards the goalkeeper Ochoa makes the save that was more like it from Neymar he looked like the Galactico he is there by the way 
beat the defender, took the shot. Ochoa made the save. Brazil still on the attack. Neymar, right hand side of the midfield. Gabriel Jesus crosses it in. Headed away by Marquez. Gets it out of the penalty area. Is that to be the moment that awakens Brazil from their slumber? Neymar with a bit of quality there. As Coutinho is tripped and tumbled and a free kick to Brazil on the far side. That, that Dublin. is unbelievable skill from Neymar. He, what he did there, he gave us end product. It was just amazing. He had Herrera, he had Vela, he had Marquez, all trying to mark him. He went across it with his right, faked, went down the left wing and all three Mexican players went for the dummy. What a great piece of skill. Actually, it was leaning to my left as well to try and stop him going inside. Brilliant bit of skill. That's Neymar. That's what the kids call it. I know it's kind of quite a coarse expression, but you obviously hear the youngsters say this. He broke the ankles of Alvarez there. You know, <laughs> he went one way, back around the other way. Alvarez was left in his dust. I think he was popped out for a programme. <laughs> <laughs> Free kick to Brazil. Neymar. No fancy blonde in the hair tonight. He looks like business now. Here it comes into Thiago Silva. Fix it on. Up into the air of Salcedo. It's not away yet. Gabriel Jesus shoots. It was going wide. Ayala didn't know that. He intercepted it. And that's kept the ball in the penalty area for Brazil. Gabriel Jesus. One step over. Two on the edge of the box. Right hand side. Right to the byline. Now he whips in across. Neymar picks it up. This is all in the penalty area for Brazil. Coutinho over the top. Edge of the penalty area. Coutinho just got underneath it. Brazil, who were quiet for 24 minutes, have suddenly sprung into life. Brazil nil, Mexico nil. They were they were committing players forward. They had players in the box. They were making Mexico defend their own six-yard box as well. There was about eight green shirts in there. But it was Jesus, and it was Coutinho, then it was it was it was William trying to shot. They were all in the box trying to create something better. Commit players forward, Brazil. Much better chance if you play like that. Nil-nil, Mexico in possession. They've enjoyed a lot of attacking football. They've just been given a couple of defensive scares. Salcedo forward towards Vea. Last touch comes off Fagner. And that will be a throw into Mexico inside the Brazilian half. Hardly had a chance to catch our breath since kickoff. But don't forget, Belgium against Japan is this evening's commentary on Five Live. Tomorrow, Sweden against Switzerland in St. Petersburg. And I think one or two of you might be tuning in for the other game tomorrow, Colombia against England. This is to work out who will play against either Belgium or Japan. And at the moment, there's not been much between Mexico and Brazil. Mexico, who've had the most chances. Brazil, who've had the most dangerous chances. Alvarez with some lovely footwork on the far side. Now he sprays a cross-field ball, 50 yards onto the chest of Carlos Vela. Into the penalty area. Vela plays a 1-2. Out comes Paulinho. Good, strong defending. And he wins the ball off Carlos Vela. And then as he tries to clear it long, I thought that might have been a handball actually of Rafael Marquez. Maybe it hit his forehead. In any event, it's a great interception and Mexico get possession back. They're, they're, they're playing clever, Mexico. If the right back's got it, if, if it's either side, they are looking for that switch. If Alvarez has got it, he's trying to find Vela here on the left. They're making Brazil. As a team, go all the way across the pitch, changing their point of attack. Felipe Luis onto Neymar. The left wing for Brazil. He gets up a bit of pace here, cantering into the penalty area. Poor ball, though. Behind Coutinho, who'd made a great effort to keep up with Neymar there. But the pass was weak to the Barcelona man. And Mexico were able to clear away. Rafael Marquez in the middle of the midfield just rolls it back to Salcedo. And Mexico get ready to pump their way into the Brazilian half. This has been such a high-tempo game, particularly for the Central Americans. We flew on the plane from Moscow yesterday. It was pretty even split. Brazilian fans, Mexico fans, all the Mexicans putting their sombreros into the overhead <laughs> compartment for takeoff and landing. And here, well, both teams have been pretty evenly split on the pitch as well. Yeah, I think that's that's how Brazil will get in. As soon as Neymar gets the ball and he starts to attack, there's always two or three players on him. The noise is deafening. Carlos Vela left hand side for Mexico shoots but it was a wild shot it was off the outside of his left boot and it careers away off target the atmosphere is picking up the atmosphere is picking up the noise the scarves everything's being swung overhead now there's pockets of yellow there's pockets of green and there's just a pocket bang opposite us we are above the dugouts and as we look opposite the highest tier is like a big round circle of sun and they're all loving it, tops off and all kinds of stuff. That's, no, that's a gentleman, by the way. Yeah. I've got to say, that's a gentleman. <laughs>
yellow card for Dion Dublin. Here comes Wagner down the right hand side. Nil nil here in Samara. Oh, it's a brilliant ball. It's over the head of Alvarez. Neymar dangerous into the penalty area. Alvarez recovers. What a tackle! Oh, that was Bobby Moore's style. He wins the ball off Neymar. He comes away with possession. And Mexico, they're like a matador fluffing the big red sheet, and the bull runs through it. Neymar for a moment there thought he was in. Yes, he did as well. He tried to go down the outside of Alvarez there, but I honestly thought he had him for pace. But Alvarez, a big, long, expector gadget leg there, does that hook tackle we like to but we like to call it. Stayed right on his laces, and he gets up and plays. Brilliant defending, one on one with one of the best. Edson Alvarez, who scored an own goal last time out against Sweden. What a tackle that was against Neymar of all people. We've reached the half hour mark. Great game so far. Nil nil. Mexico come on the attack down the right. Lozano's got it spread out to this. He's not going to get there. Allison Shepherds it out for the goal kick to Brazil. You know, the wingers of Mexico, that's where the goal's going to come from. If there's a goal going to come from Mexico, it's going to come from Lozano or Vela. Chicharito's working so hard. Marquez, like you've said already, he's the conductor. But the work rate of Herrera. And Alvarez, Alvarez is just incredible. Can Mexico keep this tempo up? They've done it for half an hour. They are a third of the way through the regulation 90. They might only be a quarter of a way through it if it goes to extra time. Can they keep this work rate up? Throw in for Mexico. Controlled on the chest by Lozano. It came at an awkward height for him, yeah. sort of face height. And he wasn't able to control it. It was kind of almost his neck he took it down with. Brazil regained possession. Here is... Alinho of Barcelona over the halfway line. He's got Willian in a lot of space on the right hand side. Gabriel Jesus waits in the middle. Coutinho's in there as well, but again, Mexico blocked the cross. And Willian, who when he received that ball, there was no one within 15 yards of him. By the time he took the cross, he'd been closed down by Gallardo. Yeah, that's, that was Paulinho there. What he did, he was running down the middle of the pitch and he rolled it in front of Willian as if to say, cross that first time. Get that in the box. We've got numbers in there. He takes a touch. If you take a touch and you're playing against this Mexico side today, you will get closed down by two players. That exactly happened there on Willian. And the Chelsea players voted Willian their player of the season for the campaign just passed. You might remember he was left out of the team for the starting 11 of the FA Cup final. He made his displeasure at that very much known. And he's kept his starting place for Brazil at the World Cup. And he's very much on the right wing. He's all the way over against the touchline. Gabriel Jesus here. Ten yards until the penalty area. Gives it to Neymar. Into the box. Gives it back again to Gabriel Jesus. Takes a touch. Away for the first defender. Left footed shot. Saved by Ajoa. Following up was Coutinho. And it's cleared away. There's appeals for a handball in there. That nearly fell to Neymar. But it came back off Ochoa, the goalkeeper. Mexico living a bit dangerously there. But it remains nil-nil. Yeah, Casemiro there. Just about five yards outside the box. If he'd have gambled, I think what he was doing, he was waiting for an extra pass from Coutinho. He was waiting for a shot, didn't make it. The ball just ricocheted just into the D and he was on the back foot. It was a tapping. It was a tapping. Nil-nil between Brazil and Mexico in a game that is very much living up to the hype and the expectation ahead of kickoff. Possession of the back for Brazil with Miranda, the former Atletico Madrid player, now with Inter. Felipe Luis, back to Miranda once again. Brazil almost looking to try and change the tempo of the game, to play it at their pace, but it's difficult against this flurry of a performance from Mexico. Here come Brazil. Paulinho tries to take on Ayala, who makes the tackle. Sliding in was Alvarez to clear it away. Only as far as Brazil's Felipe Luis, and he has it on the left wing infield to Coutinho who's dropped deep here he's got four or five of his teammates ahead of him Coutinho on two Neymar now oh back to Coutinho that's lovely hits it but hits it off a defender and it deflects out for a corner any time a Brazilian player gets in something like a shooting position there are Mexicans throwing their body in the way to block him yeah they have to as well because you know what Brazil are doing they're just going through the gears you know they're, they're getting shots on goal now the Mexican keepers having to make saves Coutinho there playing one two with, uh, with Neymar they're just getting through now yeah it's, it's, it's a really good game to watch this Mexico who are all bluster in the opening stages putting Brazil under pressure but now the classy touches are coming in the chances are being created by Brazil but can they get the opening goal ahead of half time 10 minutes remain in the first half Willian is standing over this corner kick right hand side as Brazil come forward he raises his right arm as an indication to his teammates 
flicks it in, Gabriel Jesus was close to that, Casemiro was close to it, but it sails over the top of both of them, and then, despite the efforts by Felipe Luis to hold onto the ball for Brazil, it is won out there by Vela, who had given it up towards Lozano, and in the end, Guardado fails to keep it in play, but the last touch was off a Brazil player, and that will be a throw-in to the Mexicans, still yes, nil nil. Yes, concentration from Brazil is is better than I better than I first thought. Mexico leaving three players up, Brazil going man for man, being very brave. That extra man has gone forward. So if they do go forward, create a chance. Do not let them go three for three. Reminder: Our coverage of Wimbledon continues on Sports Extra. Roger Federer and uh, Silic both through to the second round. Already, US Open champion Sloane Stephens knocked out. Uh, but Sports Extra, the place to keep in touch with the tennis during the live football here at the World Cup. But lots and lots of Wimbledon coverage uh, over five live over the next fortnight. So, free kick to Mexico now on the halfway line, left hand side of the midfield. And it was Lozano that time who was taken down. Yeah, even Stephens this game. Brazil now coming into it, just finding a few pockets, a few holes. Mexican having to the Mexicans having to concentrate as well looking for that massive diagonal that's caught Brazil out so many times Mexico have switched it around they started with Vela on the left and Lozano on the right those two have swapped wings Thiago Silva the Brazil captain under pressure from Javier Hernandez with the bleach blonde hair Willian back just in front of the defenders helps it on to Miranda over to the left back Felipe Luis who's in the team ahead of Marcelo who's injured they hope He'll be able to come back in if required should Brazil get through to the quarterfinals. But Felipe Luis, the one change in the Brazil team from the side that beat Serbia 2 0. You know what's going to give Mexico a problem if they switch off on ones and twos. You know, those little one twos at Brazil are starting to uh, they start to pick off one or two players. If you don't follow the runner, then you will be in trouble. Herrera's got to just make sure he doesn't switch off. I know that Marquez is. He's aging now, but he just needs to stay behind the ball. Don't try and nick that one too. Stay behind the ball. Make Brazil think. Neymar just adjusting the laces of his yellow boots. Willian has possession on the halfway line. Right-hand side as Brazil come forward. Nibble on his ankles by Jesus Gallardo. Referee says that's a free kick to Brazil. Yes, that's one each now. I think uh, Willian gave him a little nudge a little bit earlier as well. So, yes, one each. Even Stevens there, the two of them. Nil-nil at the moment. Last time these two met in the World Cup, it finished nil-nil. Just seeing in our monitor actually a picture of Marcelo who went off just 10 minutes into that win against Serbia. A spasm in his back. Here is Willian into the Mexico half again and picking out Coutinho. Marquez, the nearest defender to him. Coutinho goes around him, shoots, but Ayala in the right place to deflect it up high into the air. Marquez with a strong, firm header away. Casemiro sends it back for Brazil. Awkward challenge by Alvarez. Yes. Yeah, that wasn't good. He chopped into Neymar. Yeah. And I wouldn't, I mean, I'd almost say that, that looked like a yellow card challenge. It'd definitely be a free kick. No looks card like, yet. Looks like he's got away with this, to be honest with you. No yellow card at all. Neymar just getting there before him this time. I think, I think, the, we'll, we'll confirm this, I think the referee did flash the yellow. He did it really, really quickly. Did yellow card really has been yeah, shown. And, and rightly so as well. Alvarez just a little bit late. Neymar, quick out the blocks. Gets a crop, gets across him. Definite free kick. But that's what Brazil can do. They can just switch it on and switch it off the pace of the game. What the Mexicans have got to do is just don't get sucked in to diving into it. Allow them to have the ball on the odd occasion when you know you're not going to win it. Start diving in, you're going to give uh, free kicks away in dangerous areas like this. It's about 10 yards outside the box on the angle, maybe. This could be a uh, uh, goal bound. Neymar has picked himself up. He was the man chopped down to win this free kick. It's a long way out. I mean, I wouldn't put it past him. But this would need to be an amazing strike from this sort of distance. Felipe Luis is also standing over it. Felipe Luis runs over it. Here comes Neymar, right footed towards the top corner. It didn't dip in time. It was speculative because that was a long, long way out. But he did go for goal. Yeah, he went for goal. There wasn't really enough pace on it. He got it up and down okay, but not quite enough pace there to, uh, to trouble the keeper. And a wall as well. He's only a two-man wall. They both jumped, made it difficult. Brazil nil, Mexico nil, five and a half minutes of normal time remaining. 
in the first half. And we've had that first booking of the game for Edson Alvarez. I guess that'll be in his mind now. He's, he's had some great tackles on Neymar so far. That wasn't a good one he got booked for. But he's now got a lot of the game to go, knowing he's already on a yellow. Yeah, what he'll be doing now, he'll be looking to his teammates to help him out when he's got a one-on-one. -on -one. With Neymar, he will have to stay on his feet. He will not be able to lunge or, or go to ground. So, yes, he'll be looking for help from Herrera. By the way, Ayala. Neymar is one of those who's on a booking here. He would miss the quarterfinal if he picked up a yellow today. Coutinho plays a one to it. Neymar crosses from the left-hand side. Too high for Gabriel Jesus. Willian will keep it in play, though, on the right wing. He's out by the corner flag. The defender is Gallardo. Willian, little close-touch control. Goes around Gallardo. Drills it in low. Good goalkeeping. Ochoa down onto the ground. Quick smart to save at the toes of Gabriel Jesus. Yeah, as simple as that look, that little collect there. Willian, he just does that little skip. He hops on his left foot twice. And he goes right, really quickly, if he didn't hold on to that one, Ochoa. And it was dangerous because it was spinning away, I mean it was a cross, but it was spinning away from the yeah. goalkeeper. He held on to it very well. Fagner wins it back for Brazil, he's not had a great start to the game, but that was good. This is Willian, right hand side of the midfield, into Neymar, looks up for a moment, thought about the shot, then he tries to give it back to Fagner, not a good through ball from Neymar. And under pressure, Mexico clear it away. Mexico have done so well in this first half, but as it drags on, as halftime comes closer, Mexico are more and more under the cosh. Yes, Neymar's now come over to the right hand side to have a go at this side. What he's doing now is mixing it up, Neymar. He's taking players on, players on when he gets the ball, and he's also just playing it nice and easy as well for his teammates. Now the Mexicans have got to think. Fagner crosses it in, comes off Gallardo, corner to Brazil on the right-hand side and after that, that purple patch in the opening 20-25 minutes Mexico are not seeing much of the ball now and certainly not seeing much of it in the Brazil half no that's a uh, look at Mexico look it's a corner for Brazil and Mexico are leaving three players up they are not they're making sure that Brazil have to think about how they can win this game three on three at the back it is very clever by Mexico yeah Thiago must stay back now to keep tabs here comes the corner delivered in Marquez heads it away now the other advantage of keeping three up from a corner is it's very handy if you can come on the counter attack this is Lozano three on three if he's quick enough players working on Neymar worked really hard to get back there credit to him and then Vela is chopped down by Felipe Luis and it's a yellow card for the Atletico Madrid defender free kick to Mexico midway inside the Brazilian half you know for all their flair and all their brilliance Brazil when they need to do the ugly stuff they are well versed Yes, without a doubt. And you know what? That's low reversal on the Neymar challenge there. He was going out to Vela. Vela just got there before Felipe Luiz just nipped him with his toes. But Felipe Luiz had committed to the challenge. And now we have a free kick for Mexico in a very dangerous area. Two and a half minutes to go to half time. What a time this would be to score, by the way. Oh. Referee from Italy, Gianluca Rocci. He needs eyes on the back of his head here because Mexico have sent a lot of players up. Brazil have all 11 men back behind the ball They're, they've got a high line here Dion They're six, five, six yards outside the penalty area is the line from Brazil which invites Mexico to play it over the top however the gulf was large enough and it runs through to Alisson the goalkeeper yeah that's why they have a high line he pumps it long looking for Neymar who'll run Ochoa's out of his penalty area lovely calm <laughs> touch just for a moment just for a moment <laughs> <laughs> he had to get that right one bounce from the Brazilian keeper to the Mexican keeper and he just lifts it over Neymar's head if he gets that wrong it's a goal Herrera out to Lozano Lozano we know is such a great dribbler with the ball he hasn't been given a one-on-one -on -one with Fagner yet the way Vela got in the early stages I'd like to see that Alvarez in possession right fullback position for Mexico infield to Hugo Ayala so I guess both teams have sort of had intense periods of pressure and both defences have held out. That's how I'd sum up this first time. No, correct. They're, they're both trying different ways of getting through. Nobody's weakened as yet. Keeper, both keepers actually had to make a couple of saves. Javier Hernandez from a deep midfield position pumps it long. Herrera was up there challenging in the air. Casemiro loses out. Great play by Guardado. And now here is Lozano. He goes around Fagner. Then he comes in field around Casemiro. He's still going Lozano. And eventually held up on the edge of the box. Marquez, brave into a tackle. Pushes it out to the far side though. That will not pick out Guardado. And it goes for a throw into Brazil. This is proper. This is proper football. This is both teams going at it. Both teams working incredibly hard in this heat 
I've got one of those little white towels from the hotel. I had to bring it with me because every five seconds I'm dabbing my brow. I will take it back, I promise you, but I do need it today. You know, sometimes in the restaurants at home, they bring you a hot towel. You know, if you want to feel <laughs> here, here in Samara, they bring you an ice cold towel. That's exactly what you need. I'm waiting for the uh, the cold water spray to come around, but it's not uh, not happening today. It is smoulderingly hot. Nil nil. South America against Central America. Last 16 of the World Cup. Mexico, who've already beaten Germany, can they claim another big scalp? The referee has taken mercy on the players and he blows it up immediately on the 45 minutes so Mexico out of the traps had a flurry of early chances but by the end of the first half they were almost hanging on Brazil came close a couple of times and the best opportunity of all was Neymar who completely turned the defence inside out got his shot on target and Guillermo Ochoa the Mexican keeper made the save at half time it's Brazil nil, Mexico nil. Yes, uh, Mexico have made a change. They've taken off Rafael Marquez, who has just become the first player to ever start a game at five different World Cups. But he's only lasted the 45 minutes. And Leon, Miguel Leon, who had started the previous games, comes on. A more attack-minded player. So they've taken off the defensive midfielder, Dion Dublin. They've brought on a winger. What do you make of that? They know they've got 45 minutes to get through this game. Marquez would have been shattered playing in this uh, in this unbelievable intense heat he did everything right in the first half it's just all about legs now it's all about energy and I think that's why they made the change yeah Miguel Leun who spent last season on loan at Sevilla from Porto played against Manchester United uh, in European football this season turned 30 last week he is on and uh, they've also got Vea and Lozano and Hernandez in attack from Mexico if you're just joining our coverage here on Five Live Mexico came out of the traps all guns blazing they dominated the opening 20 minutes in fact Brazil did not get a single touch of the ball in the Mexican half until the 21st minute but as the half wore on Brazil began to click and they were looking very dangerous by the end of the first uh, 45 minutes came to an end here is Neymar played the ball into the penalty area Gabriel Jesus turns and spins on the edge of the D tries to get the shot in Gallardo did well to block it away and Mexico relieved to see that ball out of play on the far side it's good play good play from Brazil again Coutinho Neymar little over goes it to Jesus' feet can't get it out to Willian but you know as hard as Mexico have worked as well as they've played it's just those little flashes from the Brazilians that they've got it they've got those gears to go through if they don't concentrate Mexico, they'll just get caught out on the odd occasion. But if they keep playing and keep working as they are, you never know which way this is going to go. Crisis for myself at Dio Dublin during halftime. They have run out of bottles of water in the media area here in Samara. Everyone is absolutely gulping down gallons of the stuff. And they've run out of the bottled <laughs> waters. It is so hot. It's so sweaty here. And the ball is cleared away by Hugo Ayala on the far side. It bounces on the halfway line. And then a header by Thiago Silva sees the ball go out of play on the far side. This, by the way, is the first last 16 game of this World Cup that was nil-nil at halftime. The others so far all had at least one goal in the first half. Here comes Neymar down the left wing. Cross comes Salcido to try and keep tabs on him. Uh, a couple of step overs two three of them into the box goes Neymar can he cross he tries to and uh, Leon the halftime substitute makes the block puts it out for the corner Neymar will take it himself that's why he's on just to nullify that danger corner take it short continue in the penalty shoot saved by Ochoa the Mexican goalkeeper does it again Coutinho seemed odds on there to score cleverly quickly taken free kick he wriggled into a bit of space he's in the penalty area shot on target saved by Ochoa you cannot let Coutinho come in from the left on his right foot dummies once Leun dives in dummies again wow stay on your feet don't let him come inside Neymar takes the corner this time floated long and high he was looking for Paulinho at the far post Alvarez was there just to touch it out and that'll be a throw in to Brazil on the far side Guillermo Ochoa the Mexican goalkeeper who has now made more saves at this World Cup than any other goalkeeper he's been really busy he's got the long strangly bushy hair he wears the, the bright colours not as bad as George Campos in the past for Mexico but he's got <laughs> bright sort of burnt orange down there he's a flamboyant figure and he's made some big saves already in this game yeah he's keeping his team in it 
Look at that. Thiago Silva, lovely ball ahead of Fagner, sends in the cross and it's headed away by Salcido. Corner to Brazil, still nil-nil. Yeah, very clever play there. Thiago Silva is about uh, a third out, third final third, should I say, Mexico final third. Down the right-hand side, just waiting for Coutinho to make a run. And he just feeds it between, between two green shirts. I just love, patience. I love the little details. Salcido there, after cutting out the cross and heading it out for a corner, you know, sort of relieved, you know, that could have got anywhere, could have got it to his own net. <laughs> he went across and several times kissed the post. He says, you know, you did me well there. You stayed, you stayed, uh, the ball stayed the, the wrong side of the post for, from Brazil's point of view. Here is Carlos Vela with a bright start to the game. Can he refine the tempo that was so effective earlier on? As here comes Gallardo, the left wing back. What's he doing here? Goes for goal from the edge of the tee. And it sails over the top of Allison's crossbar. Well, Gallardo from left back picked it up in the middle of the midfield, ran to the edge of the penalty area and drilled it just over the top. You know what? He's done incredibly well there. He's got Coutinho sprinting, but he goes and he goes. He gets about two yards away from the 18-yard line. He could have actually laid Lozano in, but he didn't. He opted to go himself. I think the lay-in was better. Better option. Here is Paulinho for Brazil, playing from right to left now in the second half. The famous yellow shirts, blue shorts, white socks. Coutinho helps it through the midfield onto Neymar. Five yards outside the penalty area. Leun trying to keep close. Back heel from Neymar into Willian. He could be through here. Shoots. Goes for the goal. Neymar! Scores the opening goal in Samara. He set it up. He finished it. Brazil's number 10 puts them 1 0 in front. That is unbelievable skill from Neymar. I'm looking at the screen now and he's put his one finger across his lips as if to say, Be quiet, I will deliver. And he's delivered on the big stage. He went across the 18 yard line. He back heeled it to Neymar to William. William burst into the box, left footed. Crosses it. Neymar didn't stand still. He took his run into the box. I'm just watching it again. Look at that. One touch from Willian across the box, and there's Neymar. Two yards out. Deserved his goal. Hard work. He just didn't stop. He didn't give up. After releasing the back heel, he then instantly moved into position. He ghosted beyond the Mexican defenders. Gabriel Jesus was stretching. He didn't get there, but Neymar did with the flourish. That is his 57th international goal. They didn't have Neymar four years ago when Brazil crashed out of the World Cup. They have him here. That's his second goal of this tournament. And Brazil 1-0 up against Mexico. And thinking maybe, just maybe, are they on their way to the quarterfinals? Yes, could that be the floodgates? Or have Mexican or have Mexico got an answer? I think they've got an answer. They will not stop playing, they will not stop coming, as they are now. Here comes Guardado from Mexico, steadies himself and shoots, and it's blocked away off Thiago Silva. Carlos Vela picks up the loose pieces out to the left hand side. Chance to get the ball into the penalty area. Vela. Little touch onto Lozano, tries to cross again, very good block by Fagner, puts it out for a Mexico corner. Good response from Mexico to going 1-0 down. Yes, they have, they got themselves a corner, and there's two over there as well. Yeah, there's two Brazilians going over as well, making them go long into the box, but they broke well there, Mexico getting four players in the box, couldn't get it in the box, but what a response. Corner to Mexico, from the far side, left-footed, outswinging, headed away by Casemiro, back into the box by Guardado, good ball, Herrera's here, pins it across the edge of the pen, oh, he's so unlucky not to pick out a teammate, Vela in the box, tries to scoop it, goes down, he wants a penalty, referee says corner, corner to Mexico, there was three different chances in one there. Wow, the Brazilian, Brazilians, they're all over the place, it went from left to right, they had to adjust, it went from right to left, they had to adjust again, they thought they should have had a goal kick. Referee's given another corner. And now he says, get on with it, which Mexico do. Vela's delivery from the left. Too high for Salcido, who had gone forward. Leun sends it in, but it crashes off the back of a defender and pops into the arms of the Brazilian goalkeeper, Alisson. Yeah. Brazil won, Mexico nil. We've played eight minutes in the second half. That's the way to respond to a going a goal down against Brazil. They've said, right, OK, fair enough, we won't go down, but we are going to stay on the front foot. They're getting it, they're passing, they're working even harder now because they have to. But they don't mind a bit of hard work, seen that in the first half. Salcido to Gallardo, Mexico over the halfway line, played from left to right as we look down. Lozano, who's a magnetic dribbler of the ball, picks
Kicks out Guardado on the edge of the penalty area. Very good challenge. Fagner in on him. Fagner who looked a bit wobbly in the opening 10 minutes of this game, but he's now making some very good tackles. And Mexico, having gone one down, are preparing to make a change. And Jonathan Dos Santos, the brother of Giovanni Dos Santos, is getting ready to come on. As Vela twists and turns one way than the other. Gets it back to Leun. Into the heart of the defence, Ayala. Salcedo to his left. Mexico trying to generate that tempo they had earlier in the game. Lozano takes on three defenders. Willian makes a tackle on it. Brazil are beginning to work hard. Bit of rope and dope maybe from the South Americans who conserved energy in the first half and are now letting it fly as Willian is eventually stopped on the edge of the penalty area but stopped illegally, says the referee. He showed a yellow card to Hector Herrera. That is Willian at his best. Ten yards inside his own half he goes past one he goes past two and his pace his pace was unbelievable you know it was whoever there getting booked trying to pull his shirt William was in to cross the ball that's positive very positive I think so, Brazilians are going to have to follow his lead so a few things to say here first of all Hector Herrera if Mexico were to come back here and go through he would miss the quarterfinal now he's picked up his second booking and Jonathan Dos Santos comes on in place of Edson Alvarez so they've taken off the right back and they've brought on Dos Santos who plays as a, a central midfielder so it looks like Leon is going to come back he's a right winger he's going to play right back yes I think uh, Alvaro, Alvarez was booked so I think he might be protecting him ball played into the Mexican penalty area easily cleared away Vela then challenged by Felipe Luis who's strong here's Willian whose influence is growing on the game now Casemiro edge of the penalty area right hand side little nutmeg through Jonathan De Santos chance for Neymar to go for goal he tried to strike it to the far top corner it flashes away and wide and a goal kick to Mexico who trail Brazil 1-0 yeah difficult finish that one trying to go from right to left trying to do the keeper with what we call the eyes pretend to put it in one corner go for the other one but Brazil Brazil are on the front foot since they've had that goal they are working hard even without the ball they look like they're in a good shape as well they've got, they're getting into a 4-5-1 leaving Jesus on his own up the pitch Mexico are trying to find the space but Brazil are really working hard Willian's been brilliant in the second half so far as Coutinho makes an interception Gabriel Jesus halfway line looks up oh. sees a run by Willian he tried the right thing but he puts it out for a throw you know what he just could have done with another couple of passes there Willian again breaking his neck to try and get forward on the right hand side Jesus trying the correct, the correct pass not executing keep the ball keep the ball don't force it a reminder, it's day one of Wimbledon. You can follow all the action. You can listen on Five Live Sports Extra. You can also keep across everything on the BBC website. Federer, Silic, Wozniacki, uh, Venus Williams, they're all through. Andy Murray is staying at home to watch the World Cup. I think on telly, he's not involved in Wimbledon this year. Uh, but you can keep across everything on various BBC platforms. Even while the live World Cup football is on, uh, you can keep across all the action from Wimbledon today. It has started as Alison skews a clear puts it straight out of play throw it to Mexico who will remain on the attack of the left Mexico who are giving this everything but have they got enough quality to break Brazil down for an equaliser you know they, they might they might be a goal up Brazil but you never know the way that Mexico are playing that they are having a real good go here spraying passes long and spraying them short Leon onto Vela, crossing position on the right-hand side. Miranda's been dragged out of position. Back into the middle to Hector Herrera. That's a nice short layoff to the man who's just come on, Jonathan Dos Santos. He goes down under a challenge from Gabriel Jesus. Referee says it was fair. Neymar skips away from Jonathan Dos Santos, who had bounced back up onto his feet. Here is Willian, shuffles in off the right. The two defenders thought he was going to back in it there, <laughs> and, he did, and he didn't. <laughs> they both jumped back behind him. He kept going in the same direction. Yeah, he shaped, actually, to yeah. back in and that's what it was it was you know really good skill Coutinho gets his pocket picked by Vela here he goes Carlos Vela around Paulinho runs into Casemiro you know you might get around one of these Brazilians there's another one lurking in behind you know what when they've got the ball and, and they are and their feet they feel right what they do they look like a Rolls Royce they just they just run with it it looks so easy they're so naturally gifted these Brazilians they caress the ball they touch it so gently here is 
Felipe Luis, midway inside the Mexican half, lays it off to Neymar, whose goal separates the teams here in a hot and sweaty Samara. Neymar into Gabriel Jesus, gets on the end of the 1-2, has to skip away from one challenge, trying to return it to Gabriel Jesus a second time. And the Mexican tackles continue to fly in. This is Willian, picks up the loose ball on the right-hand side. Fagner's coming the over great ball, Balinho! Saved by Ochoa, world-class save. The instant reactions to get across to his left. I was sure Paulinho would make it 2-0 there. I was expecting the net to be bulging Herrera. He just switched off there for Mexico. The 16 should have went with the runner. William was waiting, waiting and waiting. I think it was Thiago Silva that went on the overlap. You've got to talk to the man in front of you. Stay on the ball or go with the runner. He did neither. And Brazil had a really good chance to go 2-0 up. Casemiro has been booked as we watch the replay again. It means Casemiro will miss the quarterfinal if and when Brazil go through. But Ochoa, I mean, that was point-blank save. Paulinho was allowed to pick his spot. He went for the goalkeeper's left. It was a good shot. I mean, it was tucked into the corner. And Ochoa still got across to save it. It was the right finish. He chose the right finish. It's just the keeper. The keeper gambled. He didn't go into the middle of his goal at all. He just gambled and thought, I think you're going to put it to my left. He gambled right, and it's still 1-0. An hour played in Samara. Brazil lead Mexico 1-0. The goal from Neymar, his second at this World Cup. And with Messi and Ronaldo already gone home, is he to be the big star of this tournament? As Coutinho gives it infield to Casemiro, he will miss the quarterfinal if Brazil go through. Neymar gets a touch. Brazil dancing now to the Samba beat as they release Wagner down the right-hand side. They've got an arrogance about them. Fagner sends in the cross too high for Gabriel Jesus Guardado allows it to bounce in the box under pressure from Coutinho but he's got support from Ayala and Mexico clear it away stretching for the ball there was now the striker who's come on Raul Jimenez he's come on in place of Javier Hernandez but he's unable to get possession as Brazil have it once again Neymar fouled after the ball had left him referee waves play on Coutinho then is tackled just after the referee said play on Jimenez will stretch for the ball. That's a good one over the top. Chance here for Lozano. If he can hold his composure. Two defenders around him. He shoots and it's a good block by Miranda. Velas following up. Shoots and fingertipped over the top by Allison. Mexico are not giving up the ghost here. They're throwing everything at Brazil. They are proper throwing everything as well. Lozano and Vela. Two half chances really. One from inside the box. One from outside the box. I think it's going to come from one of them two. They're playing so well. Energy, wow. Brazil fall back into a defensive formation. Brazil won Mexico nil. Mexico, who for periods of this game have dominated. But they haven't been able to beat Allison. Here's the delivery into the middle. Casemiro heads it away. Good, long, hefty header out for a Mexican throw. They'll continue to come. They will continue to come. The Mexicans, they're not going to sit back and allow Brazil to take charge of this game. Brazil break from deep. Fagner on towards the impressive Willian, but this time he's challenged by Hector Herrera. Referee says it's a foul. Foul on the Chelsea man. And that is a free kick to Brazil, and they'll just slow it down a little bit and take their time over this one. Yeah, he's been great today, Willian. Just breaking the lines, getting the ball in the middle of the pitch, and just breaking in between two Mexican players, um, allowing them... Or his teammates to get on the into good positions and playing one twos and I tell really you, looks good. I'll tell you how good a game it's been, Diab. We've played we played 60 minutes. Mexico have had nine shots. Brazil have had 16 shots. We've had 25 <laughs> shots in this game so far. As uh, Leon lifts Neymar back up to his feet. Neymar who was down on the ground. He was actually off the pitch down on the ground. Leon could have left him there. It wasn't going to hold up play if he's off the playing surface, but. Leon came across and said, there's nothing wrong with you, get up. And suffice to say, Neymar didn't take kindly to that. Yeah, that's Leon just helping out Ayala there, making sure that they don't get one-on-one. -on -one. There's not many players that can defend against Neymar one-on-one. -on -one. They're double banking on him. Casemiro through the midfield, onto Neymar. Lovely first touch to spin away from Leon. Dinks it back into Felipe Luis. Will be wait on that pass? Neymar falls over again. And the Mexican coach is saying, what happened to you there? A puff of breeze. Here's William. Step over, into the back, shoots. Good save again, Ochoa. Wow, he's having a good game. The Mexican goalkeeper is keeping his team in it at the moment. William continues to be so impressive for Brazil. That's another one that could have got in. That is a, a, an unbelievable strike from William. Just that what we call a little shake and bake to the right. Strikes it. 
He was going over the keeper's right shoulder, but again, a show off. Stand strong. Corner is taken short by Brazil. Coutinho to Neymar. Mexico, who are continuing this tactic of leaving players high up the field, even when they're defending corners. Neymar wants a little run here on Guardado. Guardado does well. Oh, he's seen that Neymar trick before. He takes the <laughs> ball away from him. And Mexico come on the attack down the right-hand side. Not this time. Not this time, I'm afraid. There's two of us. And he just had a little look over his shoulder at Neymar <laughs> there. When the ball went to, He had a look as if to say Neymar. Not yeah. against me, kid. Yeah. Not today. Yeah, he said, Neymar, behave <laughs> yourself, right? Don't think you can pull off tricks past everyone all the time. Here is Leun up to the halfway line. Guardado, who just made that great challenge. What a player he is. 31 years of age. This is his 151st <laughs> cap. It's ridiculous. Here's Lozano on the left. Great dribbler. Comes in field. Maisie run. Little nutmeg in there as well. He's still going. Taking down on the edge of the D. Referee says no free kick. That's got to be a free kick, surely. Thought that was a free kick. Referee waves him up and says, play on with it. Mexico get it back again. Carlos Vela, once of Arsenal, on the right-hand side. Up against Felipe Luis, gets to the byline. Now he needs some support. And he picks out a pass back behind him to the energetic Guadado. He'll veer in field. Oh, that's a great ball into the penalty area. Lozano across the face of goal. And it was just in front of Raul Jimenez. But Mexico showing they've got a few tricks up their sleeve as well. Yeah, Jimenez just about a yard away from that one. I've told you. Vela, what a player. He's attacking every single time down the right-hand side. Lozano as well. They keep switching wings. Brazil don't know how to stop them getting the ball in the box. Mexico have got to commit a few men forward when the ball's in the wide areas they might nick a chance Felipe Luis has been turned he's on the left hand side of the Brazil defence and time and time again be it Vea or Lozano they're getting a bit of look down this right hand side throw into Mexico Leon wants to take it quickly and he does onto Raul Jimenez the big number 9 doesn't control it Casemiro gets it back for Brazil Neymar goes down under another challenge this one from Herrera He's already on a booking, and Neymar stays down this time. Yeah, I think he's having a breather. That was a free kick that time. Neymar just uh, going to the right-hand side, leaving his man for dead, and he stays down. I think he's just having a bit of a rest. I'd do exactly the same in this heat. If I get a chance, I'd nick a drink as well, because... <laughs> There has been many water breaks, has it? actually, has there? No, well, there hasn't, no. And, and here in this heat, I mean, and, and I know there's a lovely temperatures at home and everyone's got on about it as well, but this is something else here. This is baking hot. It's like being inside an oven. We've played 66 minutes. Brazil lead 1-0. But in this World Cup of late goals and crazy comebacks and all the rest of it, you would not count any chickens. Williams having a great second half. Flicks him with the outside of his right boot. De Casemiro on the right-hand side. Inslides Carlos Salido, the Eintracht Frankfurt defender. And that goes out for a throw into Brazil on the far side. Yeah, Casemiro now just trying to get onto the ball. Every time he gets the ball, he's looking wide. Doesn't want to go down the middle because it's overloaded with green shirts. They're trying to go wide. Go down the outside. Mexico have got a very narrow formation at the moment, leaving Neymar and Willian lots of space down the wings it could be dangerous that if England uh, come through against uh, Colombia and I'm putting if in inverted covers because yes, all my yes, English friends yes, think yes. it's a, a foregone conclusion the quarterfinal that England will be involved in is here in Samara I wonder how they'll cope if the heat is, is as hot as it is today don't you worry about the boys they'll be <laughs> fine they'll find a way Gal Southgate will find a good way of coping We've got uh, Skinner and Badil on loop on the uh, on the tunes in the car on the way to the games. <laughs> <laughs> Here is Guadalajara from Mexico. They trail Brazil 1-0. Carlos Vela, I still think he's going to have a big say in how this game oh. ends. Oh, that's a poor pass from him there, though. He's given it away to Willian. On to Gabriel Jesus. Back to Willian again. Oh, Brazil is so good to watch when they're playing like this. Willian skips away from Ayala's challenge. He's now into the penalty area. Up to his right boot. Unselfishly lays it off. Gabriel Jesus. Jesus and it's just wide that is just that's was, Neymar actually apologies it, with the it, shot Neymar it was it was Neymar yes and uh, it's, it's gone for a corner because it got deflected wide but Neymar Willian Coutinho Jesus all running up the back four at one stage it was four on four how do you feel if you're a back four watching those four attack against you? But I tell you, you know, for all the, the, the press that Coutinho gets and Neymar and Gary, it's Willian who's been the most electrifying in this game for Brazil. Yeah, end product, that's why. Here comes the cross from Neymar. 
towards Gabriel Jesus at the far post. He stretches out a leg, but he fails to control it. And that goes for a goal kick. Goal kick to Mexico, who've still got a quarter of this game to go. But what they haven't done, you know, for all their possession and attack, they've not had that guilt-edged opportunity to force Allison into a brilliant no, save. No, they haven't. And the other thing they haven't done as well, they haven't crumbled. They have not crumbled. They have stayed strong. They have, they have belief. I can see in the way that they're coming about this yeah. game. No, they're tough, these Mexicans. Leon has it on the right-hand side. Gets it back again from Hector Herrera. Now to the halfway line. Ayala into the Brazilian half once more through Guardado. Jonathan Dos Santos here, who plays for LA Galaxy. Chance to cross for Galado on the left, but he gives it short back to Dos Santos once again. Centre forward Jimenez is standing in between the two Brazilian defenders on the edge of the penalty are waiting for the ball to come to him. That's an excellent pass. Herrera to the byline down the right hand side. Here's the cross. Oh, a flashing header from Vela wouldn't get there. Chance though for Guantano and it's blocked away by Paulinho through his body in the way. How many times in this game has a Mexican shot been deflected away by a Brazilian defender? That is brilliant, brilliant, brilliant play from Herrera. He just went towards the ball. And I think Casemiro went with him and as he landed on his foot going forward he spun down, down the wing ball was playing in front of him and he crossed it just behind his teammates it was a speculative shot great defending from the Brazilians but you know these Mexicans strong willed working hard they may get a chance Connor they just may get a chance playing like this well we say it in every game there'll be a chance there'll be a late chance and invariably there is at this World Cup at least Brazil 1, Mexico 0 in the heat in Samara we've got Belgium against Japan to come up later on from Rostov here on 5 Live and don't forget the World Cup Daily Podcast tomorrow morning's edition will feature an extensive build up to England against Colombia Alisson gets the ball back into play for Brazil controlled on the chest by Neymar but he's too close to the touchline he spills off the pitch and there's always this bit of drama with Neymar isn't there he's appealing that he's been pushed once he went off the field there and now he's wriggling around as if a crocodile has bitten him what's happened here there is sometimes crocodiles on the side of the pitch yes so you've got to be careful <laughs> I mean okay, that's ridiculous that is ridiculous he's trying to control the ball he spills off the pitch Leon is behind him as he falls on the ground he then suddenly wriggles around. now unless Leon has toe poked him on the ankle there I don't see any he's holding his head he's holding his ankle yeah. Is it the coach? Does the coach give a little nibble of him? You know what? He, he, he may have. He may have had. He may have had his studs on his on his right angle there. Leon may have had his studs on Neymar's right angle. There was no pressure at all, though. But it's. You know what? I, 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 I think I'm embarrassed for Neymar. I think he's rolling he's, around. He's down there. He's holding his forehead. He's holding his hip. He's got medicals on his ankles. And it's. <laughs> yes. Yes. Exactly. You have to laugh at that. That is pretty embarrassing. He is one of the world's great greats he's an outstanding footballer but when he does stuff like this rolling about on the floor I don't know how we can I don't get that at all I've not seen a clear replay of that he's controlled the ball in front of the dugouts his first touch doesn't keep it in play Leon's trying to get the ball off him quickly so you know that often comes together just you know, leans into the back of him there's a coming together yeah. but the way Neymar reacts it's as if he's lost a limb yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a strange one. It's, it's something that's, you know, it's in his game. Why is the game being held up here? He's off the pitch. There is no reason for this. It's Neymar. Yes. It's <laughs> Neymar, that's why. The referee said, well, look, let's have a drinks break. But that's, I, I, I'm not sure about that. You know, just because it's Neymar, yes, Mexico yes. should be allowed to play on yes, it. And if he's, if he's a that replay. hurt, by the way... Here's a replay, look. He's claiming that as the Brazilian leans down to collect the ball, I think he's claiming that he stands on his toe. You, you, I've not seen the evidence of it, though. You know what? You know when, some, when, you, was a, when you was a little kid and you used to <laughs> ro roll onto your back and, and pretend to do an upside-down bicycle? That's exactly what he was trying to do. Come on, young man. You're better than that. Get on with the game. He's OK now. No, you he's see, running about. He's fine. Is that, you know what it is? It's that spray. That's spray. That's spray. spray. <laughs> yeah. He's fine. He's on. He's running around. I don't know. See that? Look, he's such a talented player. He's brilliant. But he's got that bit of petulance, bit of whinginess that I think could turn a few people off Neymar. But he's the man who scored the goal here that separates the teams in Samara. 72 minutes now on the clock as Willian sells a little dummy, tries to peel away down the right-hand side. Salcido is across to make sure that it goes out for a Mexico throw. And there's no time to waste as he takes it quickly to Gallardo. 
back into the middle to Hugo Ayala, one of the two changes in the Mexico starting 11 for this game. Andres Guardado, the very experienced midfielder, comes on a surging run here, gets away from Paulinho, feeds it out to the left-hand side. Lozano into the penalty area, does a little drag back to himself, then propels forward again, passes it back into the midfield. Guardado once again. Gallardo is available on the left-hand side. Here comes the ball, into the middle, too high for him and out. It bounces around the back of the Brazilian defenders. And Gabriel Jesus picks it up in a left full-back position. And Brazil can work from deep once again. It just goes to show Brazil respect Mexico. 4-4-2 four, 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 they were. The two was Jesus and Neymar. And they were 20 yards from their own box. They were all defending. They know that Mexico have got it in their locker to hurt them. So they're all defending as a team. Fagner has it. Right full-back for Brazil. He's only played a handful of games for his country before. Because Danny Alves has been injured in the build-up to this tournament. A free kick is awarded for Brazil. And this time the tackle by Hector Herrera. And again, he's already on the yellow and he's yeah, had quite yeah. a few tackles since picking up that yellow ball. Yeah, body. you don't mind the uh, physical aspects of the game. There's Leun again, very close to Jesus. Now, Gabriel Jesus, one step over, two step overs, into the penalty area. Feeds it across the middle, Neymar can't control it. Paulinho tees up Casemiro. Mexico still working so hard to close down the options for Brazil. Neymar has it, just outside the penalty, right outside, onto his left boot, turns, shoots, no power on his left though. Ochoa makes a comfortable save. Yeah, he does, but that's Willian, you always get end product with Willian, he works so hard. You know what, as, as a young player like, like Neymar, and he's got so much talent, probably more talent than anybody else in the world at his age, Willian's one of those players that I would say, listen, just watch how he plays the game. Watch the end product that he gets. Watch the work rate that he does, the amount of kicks that he gets. But he just carries on and he always, always achieves and he always, always, you know, gives, gives everything for every game. 75 minutes on the block, clock. Quarter of an hour to go. Brazil on their way through to the quarterfinal to play either Belgium or Japan as things stand. You know what's interesting about the Brazil defence, Dion? That the fullbacks don't go forward at all. Modern football, fullbacks are always bombing on. It's very rare that Fagner and Felipe Luis have been over the halfway line. Yeah, it's, it's just the way they've set up. And I think a lot of it is, I'm not going to say it's fear, but I think it's respect, you know, making sure that they don't have too much space down the flanks. Here come Mexico. Are they to get a big late chance? Still a quarter of an hour to play. Hoving Lozano. Into the penalty area, the ball is pulled back by Jonathan De Santos, who's been busy since coming on as a sub, but can't pick out a teammate on that occasion. Neymar goes down again, and the referee reaches for the card again. And it's a yellow card to Carlos Salcedo. Free kick to Brazil midway inside their own half. Yeah, it's a great turn. That is a great turn. Salcedo getting a little bit too close there. Neymar doing the right thing that time. Nice little bit of skill. Turns. Gets brought down by the centre-half. Takes the pressure off his team. Only does two spins on this occasion, two rolls, so he's calming down a bit. The, the number of rolls is related <laughs> to the severity. If, if it's actually a bad tackle, there's not many rolls. <laughs> if he's diving, there's loads of them. But you know what, when he does that, that that's, that's the time to do your little bits of skill, just to take the pressure off your team. He got brought down, it was a free kick, he gets up, he carries on. Keep doing that. That's the mentality you've got to have. Five bookings in the game now. We know that Casemiro and Hector Herrera would both miss the quarterfinal where they get through. Brazil leading 1-0 on five live from the BBC. The goal by Neymar, set up by Willian, who's had a very good game. I've just seen, I've just seen Leun get a, an unbelievable look from Jesus. Jesus got a bit of a clatter in there from Leun. And I think it was Neymar that spoke to the referee as if to say, listen, keep an eye on him. He's being very physical. If you watch Leun, he's getting very close. Gabriel Jesus, heavy touch. Yeah, Leun was against him again. And there's another few words. Gabriel Jesus just has a little comment for Leun. And Felipe Luis, I think he's afraid to throw it in between the two of them now. It's like a bag of cats. Here is Coutinho. <laughs> lovely turn away from Guardado. This is really good from Coutinho. Good challenge from Ayala. Brings him to a halt. Loose ball spilled almost for Neymar. Collected by Ayala, who got back to his feet. And now a chance for Mexico to come again. Herrera, where is he getting this energy from? Spins it out to Lozano. What a great first touch in the penalty area. Chance for Mexico to the byline. And pushed out for a court. No! Fagner got the last touch off Lozano. 
goal. It's only going to be a goal kick. And I love to see this. His, his teammates are coming up to Fagner and giving him a high five. And they're celebrating that tackle. You know what? That's his job. That's the way you have to defend as a fullback. And I do think it's the correct decision as well. Bounces back off the Mexican going down the left hand side. And you know what? It was like a, it was like volleyball players doing high five when they've, they've won a point or blocked. That's what you want to see. It's more important to stop that ball going in the box. Brazil have won their last two games at this World Cup. They're leading 1 0 here with 12 minutes to play. They haven't won three World Cup games in a row since 2006 in Germany. Now, here's Coutinho, edge of the penalty area, spins away from Guardado, eventually tackled by Ayala, who's had a good game, what a defender he is, wins the ball off Coutinho, and sets Mexico in motion in this game that just doesn't stop. Here's Jonathan De Santos, out to Lozano on the left-hand side, Jimenez waiting in the middle, here comes the cross, Jimenez can't get onto it, it bounces up into the arms of Alisson, it was a poor cross in the end. Yeah, that's good defending, I think it was Thiago Silva just edging the run of the forward there he wanted to go across him made sure he went too far across him the ball was too big very intelligent defending Felipe Luis goes long for Brazil Neymar scampers after it across comes Salcido and puts it out for a for goal a goal kick I think well goal kick I'm not sure who got the last touch there in any event Brazil are going to make a change and coming on is Manchester City's Fernandinho now this is usually the sign they want to lock the door they're taking yes. off Paulinho and they're bringing on Fernandinho who'll sit in front of the defenders and try to keep Mexico out. He's done well today. Paulinho's played well, done his job, kept it moving, been reassured on the ball, been a bit of a catalyst today for Brazil. That kind of play up Fernandinho, wow that's not a bad substitute to bring on, not bad at all. Half a goal threat as well, Fernandinho, 25 yards out, he will take a shot on, but he has gone and stood right in front of his two centre-halves. The last six times that Brazil have been beaten at a World Cup Finals, it's always been to a European nation. They haven't been beaten by Central, South, North American side since 1990, when the Claudio Canigia goal set up by Maradona saw Argentina beat Brazil. But they're on their way to the quarter-finals as it stands here in Samara. Ten minutes to go now. Mexico, who continue to give it everything, but have they got the quality to break Brazil down? Here is Carlos Vela. Fernandinho showing what he's been brought in to do. Putting pressure on Vela, forcing him back. Leon collects it on the right-hand side. Gabriel Jesus has got his personal mission now to get Leon. He's following him everywhere <laughs> he goes. He just, he's a give it to Leon because I want to get him. Yeah, there's two of them. I think uh, Neymar's on that list as well. <laughs> Leon has put himself about, but he's, he's, he's made... Uh, Jesus and Nayum, Nayum, very uncomfortable. Here is Lozano. You know, we've seen sparkles, we've seen little flashes, we've not yet seen the end product from him. Vela will run after this, but he's not going to get there ahead of the byline. And it goes out for a goal kick to Brazil. Yeah, that's Leyun finding himself in an uncomfortable position right in the middle of the pitch, trying to spray it out wide to Vela. Gets it all wrong. You stay in that fullback spot, mate, and you just keep stopping Neymar. And Jesus. Is it to be seven World Cups in a row where Mexico always go out at the last 16 stage? They were beaten by Bulgaria on penalties in 1994 at this stage. They lost to Germany in 98. They lost to USA in 2002. They lost to Argentina 2006. Argentina again in 2010. And they lost to the Dutch in 2014. All at this same stage. They always get through the group but do not get any further. Different game for them today, Mexico, they have just come up against a Brazilian side that, what we like to call going through the gears, they've gone from third gear to fourth gear today, there's still more to come, still more energy to come, just watching the replay of the foul on Thiago Silva, but they've got everything this Brazilian side, they've got composure, they've got skill, they've got togetherness. And they've had to use it all today, I've got to say. They really have had to use it all to go one up. And here's the Mexican saying, OK, Thiago Silva, you may be down, but you're at a yard from the touchline. Please get off. We need this time. Can I just say, though, Thiago Silva has just picked up the most Brazilian injury possible. <laughs> and the reason I say that is, is the big burly central defender. He's been injured, back healing the ball inside his own bed of the area. I mean, only in Brazil. Yeah, but it came off. He got it right. <laughs> By the way, Dion, 
We are here in a break in play in the second half of a game in which Mexico are involved. Where's the wave? Where's the wave? It's a very good point. If you can't have the wave and the Mexicans are here, well, frankly, what's the point? Yes, that's very true. Mexicans, please don't let me down. Break in play. Normally we sort of groan when we see a Mexican wave, but not nothing doing. They're all obsessed by what's happening on the pitch. This Just has been a really good game. Thiago Silva back up at his feet. He's had to leave the field briefly. He'll be back on in a moment. I think, Connor, I don't, I don't know if you've got if you've got the uh, fans piped into your ear at the moment, but they are attempting to start a Mexican wave to our left, and it's the <laughs> Brazilians that are trying to start it. <laughs> this is Five Live for the BBC. All the national stereotypes come out. Russia winning on penalties was the Russian roulette. <laughs> Here it's the Mexican wave. Our Brazil waving goodbye to Mexico and sending them crashing out of the World Cup once again. Mexico, who remember, beat Germany in their opening game of this tournament. That seems like months ago. Ball played forward by Ayala for Mexico. Out towards Lozano. Doubling up on him again. Williams worked so hard today. Herrera back out to Lozano. Now he's one-on-one -on -one with Fagner. Does a little dummy of a cross. Gives it off short to Jonathan Dos Santos. Lozano again. is turned back to Gallardo. Brazil sitting deep. They're saying, OK, Mexico, come on. Show us how good you are. See if you can break us down. Ayala forced back into his own half, Salcedo, and ultimately all the way back to Ochoa. You've got to admire how Brazil are going about this. They're working very hard. They are being assassins down there. They just see their target, and they are executing and getting the job done. But Mexico come again. Herrera up to Jimenez. Tries to turn on the edge of the penalty area. Goes down. He wants a foul. Referee says no. Twinkle Toes will continue to get away from the first challenge. But he can't get around Ayala. Mexico will come again with Herrera. 12 yards outside the penalty area. Right hand side is Mexico come forward. Playing left to right. Leon delivers the cross. Fagner's header up into the air. But ultimately out for a quarter. Quarter to Mexico with five minutes of normal time remaining. Yes. And listen to that. Listen to that. The volume's gone up. The green flags above the head. They know it's last chance, Salou. What have we got? Four and a half minutes left. Brazil making a substitution. Roberto Firmino of Liverpool is going to come on. That's not a bad sub to bring on with five <laughs> minutes to play, by the way. And he takes the place of his old teammate, Coutinho. Wow, what a player to bring on. He will now come. They'll play one up top. That is, that's quality for quality, I've got to say. That is, what a bench the Brazilians have got. So on comes Firmino, who's just enjoyed the best year of his career this past season. 27 goals for Liverpool, 17 assists. Big part of their success last season. Here comes the Mexican quarter. Played into the middle. Headed down by Thiago Silva. Might still be there for Valos. Stretching was Alisson, the goalkeeper. And I think he was impeded, was he? Flag was raised. Either way, it's a free kick out for Brazil. Yes, pressure off. I think it was... Uh, might have been offside as well, actually, but the referee's given a goal kick. Just, oh, look at that. That's very clever, both... <laughs> yeah, two <laughs> balls on the pitch by Brazil. Accidentally. <laughs> I didn't oh, realise, I didn't realise my goalkeeper had a ball. Just time. <laughs> oh, it didn't... Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, OK, we'll, we'll, we'll take a while out to decide which one we'll remove. Eventually, Alisson takes... But that, you know, that's the respect shown to Mexico. The fact that Brazil have to waste time laid on against Mexico shows how well the Mexicans have done. Gabriel Jesus has possession for Brazil. Just as other Mexico have. Left touchline, goes off the pitch and gets on with it. And Tite immediately says, don't, have every, don't even think about doing a Neymar. The Brazilian coach push, pushes his own player back onto the pitch and says, come on, don't go down for that. Plus, it's our throw-in. Yeah. Throw-in. It's Felipe Luis comes over the halfway line to take. Juan Carlos Osorio, the Colombian, the coach of Mexico. Shirt sleeves pulled up, bellowing on the instructions. Knows his team have given it everything here. Feels they might just have a little bit more to give, though. Miranda, back again to Thiago Silva. Have they something left in the tank, Mexico, to create a chance that could push this game into extra time? A couple of minutes left now, a couple of minutes left. They have to find a way, Mexico. They've got to get it to Vela. That's the man. Vela's got to get on the ball. Lozano's got to get on the ball. Fernandinho makes a very good interception. 
And now he pushes it in front of Neymar. Clear sided goal here for Neymar. Threads it beyond the goalkeeper and in from Firmino. Neymar celebrates, but the last touch from the Liverpool man. 2 0 Brazil. Adios, Mexico. Brazil are going to the quarterfinals. That is all Fernandinho's work. He intercepts a pass from Mexico on the front foot. His first touch takes him over the halfway line. And it was the pass into who is it? Neymar's feet. He makes Neymar break quickly. Neymar does exactly that. He, he actually toe pokes it past the keeper. It's not going in. And Firmino is working so hard to get into the box. Like we said, what a sub to bring on. 2 0 Brazil. I'm not sure he'd a touch before that. It certainly didn't have many. Firmino gets on the end of Neymar's delivery. I still think Neymar was going for a goal, by the way. Yes, he was. He wasn't trying to unselfishly roll that to Firmino. <laughs> but it falls to Firmino. It's 2 0. Mexico can shout and scream all they want. But Brazil aren't going to let this slip now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if Firmino hadn't have come on, I'm not sure if Coutinho would have had the energy to get into that position. Achoa would have made another unbelievable stop. But just the energy and the will to win of Firmino, 2-0. The manner of the celebration there, though, blows you away. Neymar... He's the one who runs off to the corner flag, all the teammates jump in. He, he didn't score the goal, it's Firmino's goal. And but everybody he's goes claiming to it. I, mean, it's, <laughs> I know Ramos did something sort of similar, didn't he, for, uh, for Spain yesterday, when he sort of, it was the own goal, but he ran off as if he scored it. But Neymar celebrated that as if, yeah, of course, it's my goal. Yes, and I'm it wasn't. I'm, I'm hoping he was happy for Firmino, that's, yeah. that's all, that's, that's all <laughs> I'm thinking it was. Is it a two 0 Is it a two 0 game? This yeah, game? I mean, I, I think Mexico pushed it a bit, haven't they? But the class is told. I, I mentioned I think in the commentary the word rope a dope. The famous Muhammad Ali, right? Yeah, come on, yeah. give me your best punches, wear yourself out, and then I'll come out and show you what I can do. And I think that's what Brazil did here. The, those opening ten minutes, quite rightly, we were praising Mexico and saying how well they were doing. But Brazil knew it's a long way to go. Let's let's let them burn themselves out a bit here. Yeah, they've had a go, uh, Mexico. I just I, if, listen. If this game was um, marked on energy and effort and desire, it'd be nil nil. It's just that sprinkling, sprinkling of world class quality through the whole of the Brazilian side. That's what's won the game today, and they're making another substitute. Another change. This time, Willian, who's been brilliant, goes off. The Chelsea man replaced by a central defender, Marquinhos of Paris Saint Germain, who many feel should be in the starting 11 for Brazil he comes on so they've got Marquinhos Thiago Silva and Miranda three central defenders they fagged on the right Felipe Luis on the left Fernandinho in front of them they are just twirling the combination lock and saying forget about it this yeah. is now shut they are you know what it's, it's, it's been an example a proper example on how to play slow play slow then play quick they've got everything in their locker they've defended very well they've been organised what I will say is they do tend to backtrack when Mexico have the ball that's just a sign of respect get into the correct shape I think you know to sum up what we've seen here today in Brazil leading 2-0 here in 5 live and about to eliminate Mexico is they're very very good Brazil but you wouldn't say they're unbeaten, unbeatable. As, uh, here comes Lozano from Mexico, tries one last flourish, but he blazes his shot away off target. Neymar's down on the ground again, of course he is. Leon is laughing at him. Neymar gets back up to his feet. Yeah, Guardado's been booked in the middle of all that as well. Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not great to see. Neymar, he's got so much more. That's the, that's the 1% that we don't like to see of Neymar. Everything else is fantastic. Gabriel Jesus spins away from Leon. Leon crunches him again. That one was a foul. Free kick to Brazil, 12 yards inside their own half. So Neymar scored first. Firmino made it 2-0. Mexico haven't let themselves down. But it's the Brazilians in the crowd who are singing. And their World Cup set to continue. Belgium or Japan next. We're into stoppages, of which we've played two minutes already. Leon. Still in that battle with Gabriel Jesus. Last touch off the Manchester City man. Goal kick to Mexico. You can't say they haven't given it everything. Mexico, they've tried every angle, every way to get a ball into that box. Shots, crosses, everything. But Brazil have had an answer for everything so far. Mexico, who beat the reigning champions Germany in the group stages. 
But this has almost become a curse against them of being eliminated in the last 16. Looks set to continue. As Vela is fouled by Gabriel Jesus. Free kick to Mexico. Taken short to Carlos Vela, the former Arsenal man now playing with Los Angeles FC. Irving Lozano. Back to Vela. Brazil are bossing it now. Firmino tries to release Neymar. Cut out by Ayala. Good pass to Leun on the right-hand side. One of the bleach blonde Mexican kids down there. Vela tries to control. It spins away from him. Picked up by Guardado. Left-footed cross out into space for Gallardo, who's up from left-back. This is Herrera. Just outside the penalty area, left-hand side for Mexico. Battling on here, despite the time being up on them. Only seconds remaining now. Two goals behind in the sweltering heat of Samara where it's the Samba beat has beaten the Mariachi bands and that will be the theme tune through the streets of Samara tonight as the ball is played into the penalty area Thiago Silva stretches and clears it away we saw great scenes here last time last night after Russia won the penalty shootout and there was marching brass bands down the main street they've <laughs> cut off all the cars pedestrianised everything it was a brilliant atmosphere and it's going to be filled with celebrating Brazilians tonight still working hard Brazil Leon crosses from the right Jimenez tries to get the header straight up into the air and Alisson says obrigado as he gathers that comfortably to his chest yes there hasn't been one clear cut header from Mexico in Brazil's box they have defended so well the two centre halves have stayed close together reminder England against Colombia live on 5 Live tomorrow night 7 o'clock kickoff in the UK the news from the Colombia camp is that James Rodriguez didn't train today. Leun plays it through to Lozano, pulls it back for Jimenez, turns and shoots, and it's blocked away off Thiago Silva. Brazilian defence has been very sturdy, as here Miranda sees it out, and it'll be a, I presume, goal kick. Leun is down injured, he's just come across to see if he's OK. I think Miranda has just said to Leun, in the form of a tackle, you touch one of my players again <laughs> <laughs> you've got me to deal with he tried to go past him Leun, but it was just the strength of Miranda says listen no yeah. entry I'm afraid no entry <laughs> your name's not down <laughs> right we've played well over the five minutes that were due to be allocated Brazil to Mexico deal have thoroughly enjoyed this game though Brazil have shown some sparkles of Brazilian football at their very best but they've been asked questions too by Mexico and I think um, Chichi, the, the Brazilian coach, he'll be impressed with this clean sheet because they've had to earn it. Yeah, the clean sheet, the organisation, the work rate in this unbelievable heat as well, going forward they've created. Yeah, I, I would imagine what he's asked them to do, they have done. If it does stay like this for the closing seconds, it'll be eight clean sheets in their last nine games. That's quite ominous for Brazil. There's Mexico battle on, they're just looking for one goal here to give the supporters something to cheer Leun 10 yards outside the penalty area Vela away from Fernandinho but tackled by Firmino very good from Firmino and it's the final action of the game the referee blows the final whistle in Samara and Brazil one of the big names left in the tournament continue towards the quarterfinals we've seen some giant killings elsewhere but the giant strides on it'll be Brazil against either Belgium or Japan in the quarterfinal you know what for me that is what I would call a professional performance by a, a team of so much quality they showed it today in fits and starts but the most impressive thing for me was the work rate the organization the determination the, the concentration as well of the back four Brazil deserved this uh, win today but Mexico have pushed them hard seventh World Cup in succession that Mexico have failed to get by the last 16 Brazil's revenge mission for the last World Cup campaign continues apace they have beaten Mexico 2-0